Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Starship Theory! I did not die from thunderstorms or anything like that. <laughs> Funnily enough, at the end of last episode, we got hit by a massive thunderstorm like directly overhead. It's only a couple of minutes ago, I'm still quite impressed by just the sheer violence that Mother Nature can produce. Like, damn nature, you scary! Thankfully we're in space, there's no atmosphere for any of those giggles right now. Which I am really happy with. We're gonna go and modernize our solar panels a bit more. Because that's gonna be really useful. Is there any place we can fit them in? Well, we can just get rid of that hatch over there, you know. I'm not planning to expand the ship over there, so... Placing the panels over there would make sense. You know, whereas I do plan to expand downwards. So I'm probably gonna get rid of this panel and then rotate it... Vertically. Just because that is going to make life a heck of a lot easier. I don't care about symmetry just yet. I just care about trying to survive right now. Uh, we can't access water. That's because we turned it off. I think. Yeah, water cooler is now turned back on. Just turn all the things back on, really. Asteroid fields detected ahead. Oh, that is lovely. We are going to get ourselves some things here. Firefan is doing the sciencing. I'd rather you didn't, Firefan. Like, we've got Super Sarge, who's a level 3 researcher. Disable work. Enable work. That's fine. Now, for some reason, Super Sarge does not want to... I have no idea why they're doing this. I just want to switch them around, that's all. Because we're doing fine on food, I want to get more research points. You know what? I think I have to care less. Oh, we've also got a ship on an intercept course. Well, if you do, buddy, just be careful. They're not currently hostile. Again, we don't have the panel. Because I'm still playing on the same day. So I'll be back in a second when we've got the ship panel. And we are back with the ship panel. I'm not... I'm still not sure why it's not... Sticking. We can sell 15 gold for 261 credits. Yes. Yes, please. There's some swanky music going on. We could shoot at him. It is not going to do as much. I'm not going to threaten them or anything like that. Until they leave, that is. As soon as they're about to leave, I'll be like, Yeah, you better leave. And they'll be just like, Why are you... And we'll just stare at each other before they fly away. It'll be fine. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Hello, star. That could possibly go wrong, I suppose. Let's get some more water, because we are using that for farming right now. You know, feeding ourselves is pretty useful. Systems are overheating, but I need to get that gold, though. There we go. We took the risk. It's probably going to pay off, let's be honest. Steal a bit of metal. Because we've got four heat vents, we can adequately deal with the star's heat. They're leaving. I'm gonna threaten you. Our threat failed! No! Yeah. They're gone anyway, it's fine. I just want to get a bit of extra money out of you. You know, you don't have to be so rude. You could just give it to me. But we do need one more CPU panel, ideally. We're going to run into some issues here in a second, so we're going to turn off the research station and start blapping that rock with more lasers. It's not turned on. Fair enough. Now it is. I'm not sure if the mining damage stays if you stop targeting it. I kind of hope it does. I, it, it does look like it. Okay. Thank the Lord. Some nice resources from that. Lovely, lovely. Minor overheating issues. We should be able to... Yeah, we should be able to fix that quite easily. Uh, utility, get me heat vents. And then, why not bolt some more onto the ship? We're kind of going for a compartmentalized build-up right now. That's not a bad thing, but... Just, you know, we are going to be expanding the ship eventually. But for right now, this will probably do. Get ourselves some metal, get ourselves some lovely silicon. Oh, that's good stuff. Minor overheating issues aside. Everything's going well. 
Pretty soon that heat vent's going to be done. One of our guys is sleeping on a job, I think it's James. So the better engineer is currently asleep. Alright. Uh, let's try and get that water over there first, and then we're gonna go after the gold. You know, gold sells for a crap ton, and a lot of, like, advanced stuff needs it, but... Early game, trade it! Yeah, why not? Now we should have enough... ...to worry about getting on a CPU panel, yeah. Build that first, please. That's gonna allow us to run... to actually run the heat vents that we just built. It's... Kind of useful, you know. Lovely. That's what we need right now. Thank you for your gracious donations to the cause. We've got a crap ton of water right now. I almost think we have a bit too much. And our cargo space seems to agree. We've got nearly... We've got over a quarter of our storage being water, pretty much. And in comes metal to save the day, thankfully. You know, you can always rely on metal. I mean, we can build some more cargo crates soon, that's good. Uh, we're doing pretty good on food. We're slowly eating, but of course, we're also farming more, so yeah. We're surviving now. Pretty great, I can recommend it from experience. Uh, it looks like we've pretty much reached the end of the system here, or the field. Uh, yes, we got the gold, and we got a bit of silicon. Ooh, if we had that mining extender, we could have got gotten it. And there's a star detected ahead as well, that's fantastic. Our engineers are not doing a lot of work right now, they're all drinking and things, and like, trying to sustain their human needs, and fine, I guess. Not ideal, but then again, I don't want to become a tyrant or anything in space. We'll add another medium solar panel on here. Just because that's a good idea. I would love it if they, you know, did more work on the hull. We've nearly got James to the point where he's got level 4, actually. He's on three quarters of the way there. And he does get, like, a couple of experience each time he does something. So, you know, I expect he's going to go up... A level. Could you please maintain the engines first, otherwise they're gonna die. Having our engines break is not good. There goes our dodge chance and stuff, you know? We kind of need that. And just a lot of things in general. Uh, we did not power you on. Yes! We're gonna super start to do the signs now. Oh, that's good. Because I accidentally turned it off and then didn't turn it back on. Firefighter is going to make sure we have food. Superstar is going to make sure that we can build ourselves a new swanky console soon. Life's good. Like, I'm pretty sure Nintendo and Xbox wish that their research was in space. You know, that would make it a hell of a lot more interesting. I can tell you that for a fact. James is probably going to grab some food or something. Weak sauce. There we go, get an extra bit of floor in there. We've got a hot we've got a shipping coming. It might be hostile, it might not be. Let's set course to an asteroid field. And I'm gonna have to reload again. It's getting kind of annoying now. Not gonna lie. But we'll be flying into an asteroid field pretty soon. We'll be able to take apart these, which is going to help us a little bit. And I would also like to. Add a bit to the front of the hull, you know. I want to make the ship a bit wider. A lot of people seem to go for a really long ship, and while I do plan on going for a long ship, I want to go for a bit of a... standard sort of thing, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Or at least I'm bad at explaining it. But you'll see eventually, and it'll be beautiful. We're going to throw some more engines in the back here so that we've got plenty of dodge. You know, we're getting the resources for it, so we might as well... Actually, let's check out utility. We need two for a medium crate. I would like you to start researching utility then. We've already got one point. So we're halfway there, and I would like to get a medium crate. 
Medium crate adds 40 more units than if you were to build two small crates. But for now, we'll build a small crate over there. More cargo space. Because, you know, we need to keep storing all that water and the food that we're going to make eventually. But yeah, we're going to reload right now just so we can get the ship menu up again. There we go. This should be fixed by the next episode. I'm just recording it a lot because I like the game. Uh, we'll sell you gold. Yeah, cool. We're up to 855 credits right now. I'm not going to sell you food, mostly because we're not making a lot. You know, we could, if I were to build another plant bed or, you know, just have someone good doing it. <laughs> oh, they're leaving, are they? I can't threaten them, can I? No. I'm going to put the menu over there, just try not to lose it. For the next time, I don't know. I've had it work for a while and then I start recording and it just doesn't work. So I don't know what's up. BBS, you're gonna have to come inside soon. But you'll be fine. James, 916 experience. He's gonna go level up to a level 4 out of 4 engineer. He's getting good at his job. Yeah, we're gonna like widen out the hole there. We'll probably move most of the things. Also remove you. We'll leave the other one for now because it's on the outside of the hole. Ooh. Hello, Asteroid Field. I nearly forgot about you. Nearly. Uh, please tell me they're going to fix the engine soon as well. As maintenance is sort of important. Like I said, having them not break is good. We're getting the resources to build more stuff now, but that doesn't mean we need to waste it on things breaking. Oh, lovely. Look at that gold. We're up to 28 again. We're going to be able to sell a lot of gold to the right buyer. Get an extra bit of metal there. Lovely. You can never have too much metal, in my opinion. And in my experience. Which is still rather limited, I will admit. Please break. Okay, you're going to have to pull the blast train. Oh, look, the thunder is back. It's far away, though, this time, so it shouldn't impede the audio too much. If it does, well... Poop. There we go. Managed to smash it just in time. Get ourselves a nice bit of silicon for trouble as well. I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. But we do need more CPU right now. Oh, look at that. That's a giant chunk of silicon. I need that. Give it to me. Give me... Oh, yes. Everything. All of it. Thank you. So cooperative today, this field. It's great. Uh, we've got enough silicon to make that other engine now as well. Good stuff. Like, really good stuff. Uh, I'm going to move one of the heat vents down here. We'll get rid of you. We'll add some interior space in here. And we'll probably add mining lasers all on the front. Because we can't afford to have a third one right now. So, hey, why not, right? Or at least we should be able to as soon as we're out of this field. And we will need more CPU panels, so that we can actually use all of it. You know, we're getting up to 100 CPU right now, that's pretty good. We're gonna turn off the laser turret, and we're gonna turn on engine. Oh, that's a bloody nice shot there by the laser. So yeah, we're in a good shape. We're in a really good shape. Food is going... Eh. Less than great, but it should balance itself out. I mean, we can always buy some when we find someone. We get an absolute load of water and silicon in here. You know, I'll take the water for now. We're nearly at 100. So we're nearly again at a quarter of our storage. I don't really approve of that. You know, it's a bit too much. There we go. Good stuff, though. Thank you. That would just smash you, I guess. You're the only one that could possibly present a challenge right now. Mm, getting a bit close, getting a bit close there, getting a bit... Thank you. Uh, let's not speed up, though. Uh, I'm gonna have to take off... I think research. We're going to risk a bit of overheating right now, although we've 
got the heat venting in theory. There we go, we need to smash that quickly. And we did! Things are going well. The only thing we need to do now is repair a medium solar panel. We've got ourselves a third mining laser, which is good. What we really need now, though, is more CPU. Although we can run all three mining lasers. It's good stuff. Want to build the third one on the front as well. Because that looks cool. Come on, James. Oh, you actually got a level up. You're level four now. See? If we look at the little crew window, let me bring it up to the middle here. You you can still gain experience, but that little dot indicates that you've trained that level. You're now a level four engineer. Congratulations, dude. That's good stuff. Get ourselves some floor in here. Eventually, we'll expand the ship a bit forward as well, just because I want to have the ship core a bit in the middle. And it does block our building right now. But we've got... Three mining lasers that we can use at once. We've got ourselves a little defense laser as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, we're gonna need an extra CPU panel though. It's right there. You know what, let's build two just to be safe. We've got ourselves plus three ship evade right now. We'll set course to an asteroid field. And a ship signature. I want to see if it can finally use it. As for utilities, we've got the medium crate available now. Which will be helpful. I might actually place it right here instead. There we go. We'll remove you while we're at it. Minor case of fire, because there's a star hiding somewhere, I guess. Oh, these guys are powering up weapons. I'm gonna jump! Screw you! That's our get out of jail free. Now, if people are outside the ship, they will get left behind. We got kind of lucky there. <laughs> we got really lucky there. Not gonna lie. We should be able to set course to another asteroid field. Oh, it's still on the way. Oh, that's good. So we didn't lose the asteroid field, but we did lose the hostiles. That's nice. Again, we got really lucky there, don't get me wrong. I could, I, I probably did kind of screw up there, but it, it's fine. Nobody noticed, so it's fine. They tried to shoot us, but we didn't really care, so hey, we got out of that one easy. Medium crate does take 20, my lord. Here's the thing, we don't have the stuff right now to build it out of pocket. And I can't remove the crates, because then it's all going to be gone. It's all because of that water. Like, we've got 99 water. That's a good thing, I guess. Firefan, why are you not on work? I don't know, but Super Sarge is taking care of the, uh, the growing. BVS actually got himself a level in engineering as well, that's good. And Super Sarge is getting close to becoming a level 4, like, intelligence. Which is nice. Let's build ourselves another plant bed. It's because we're not getting quite the amount of food I'd like. I'd like more. There you go. Hopefully that'll... Uh... Oh, right. It's because we turned the thing off. Now we're getting more food, though. So that's something. We definitely don't have enough to build a cargo hatch or anything. Wait, we're still close to a current field, really? Oh, is that because I jumped away? I think it's because I jumped away. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. We are alive, at least. Operations, I would like a mining console. We'll place it right there. We're not going to be able to afford it. It's going to take, like... Oh, and it's not that much, actually. Oh, crate's on fire. Crate's on fire. Could someone put it out, please? I mean, it's got a lot of hit points. It'll be fine. Who am I kidding? Science console is pretty important, though. We could benefit with that being alive. Oh, well. I could get rid of this planting bed. For the mining console. That might not be the worst idea in the world. 
but I kind of want to try to get Firefine a bit of experience doing something else. Plus, building up more food is never a bad thing. Hopefully we'll be able to convert the water into something more precious. Can we finally go to an asteroid field? There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. That plus three of eight is going to help us out a lot. You know, it does take a decent bit of materials to maintain it, but hey, it's fine. I'm actually half tempted to fit in a third engine in the back there. Just so we don't get murdered by things. Because I can recommend not getting murdered. It's pretty high up there. Well, you know, we've got three mining lasers right now. Things, things are good. We survived the early game. The dev has done a wonderful job of making it not murder us anymore. Or at least less likely to murder us, you know. It can still happen. But it feels a bit more... It feels a lot more fair now, actually. Oh, good. Non-hostiles. I will, uh... I'll interact with you momentarily. The ship window keeps disappearing. Ooh. Ooh, we didn't get the metal. That's good. Yeah, look at that mining speed. This is really good. Give me that silicon. Give me that silicon. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Even large rocks don't really pose much of a threat anymore. We didn't quite get all of that metal, but... Or gold, rather. We got most of it. That is good enough for me. I don't need any more water right now. Thank you. Can we break you quickly? Thank you. Oh, wait. There is more metal there. And they did get hit by a large asteroid there. Ooh, I'm going to steal that if you don't mind. Please get hit again. I feel kind of rude now, but... Hey! Business. Oh, they're leaving. Well, I can't be bothered to reload now, so just go. You know. Whatever you have, probably not too important. I do need to get more crew at some point. And the only way to get more crew is either shoot people or... Trade with them. And trading costs a lot of money, so... We're probably gonna shoot them instead. Oh good, we're actually building the crate now. Sweet. Yeah, because we're getting a lot of metal right now. Please break. Thank you. It was quite persistent, I'll give him that. And I guess we'll grab some more water as well. Uh, water's never bad. Uh, you need to do a little bit of breaking as well now, sir. You're getting a bit too close, thank you. That's the major problem gone there. We're not gonna get hit by a lot of rocks anymore, which is, you know, a big plus. Because we've got a lot of dodge right now, so we're probably gonna be alright for the immediate future, at least. Gotta watch the heat, but we've got, we've got six dispersion, you know. We can vent it very quickly. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Get all the resources, lovely. It's all a matter of perspective, you know. Those huge rocks, or at least those medium rocks that contain a bit, are now rather small compared to a ship. Which is nice, you know. Bit of perspective. That was a really nice rock. He had a bit of everything. Uh, we just lost something. Something just blew up. Guys? If you could take care of the things, because I've absentmindedly been mining too much. Ah! Uh, we lost heat vents, I think. Or they're at least on fire. Heat vents should not be on fire, that's a very bad thing. EVS, you need to put out fires, man, come on. James, take care of that. You guys, take care of all of that. We lost a couple of things. That is pretty bad. I kind of screwed up. I'm not going to lie. I was too happy mining. So we're down one heat vent. And 
I think a tiny CPU panel as well. Kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. You know. That was inevitable. Uh, it's because we had too many of those small rocks. That's not a complaint or anything, but then it's like, yeah, the heat builds up so quickly because you're breaking all the small rocks. And I wasn't paying attention properly. Sarge, go, go right ahead. Go back to what you were doing. At least we didn't, we didn't lose too much there. The heat sink is going to be a bit annoying, but honestly, the heat vent's only 10 metal. We could have lost a lot more there. And now they're actually getting enough resources to make a living. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's try to run everything again. There we go. We still need beds at some point. People like to sleep in beds. I don't blame them, but the ship's kind of small for that right now. We can't really justify it at the moment. Which is like an ultimate screw you. Like, yeah, we've got a lot of things right now, but you're not going to get any beds. What I do want to try, though, is shooting some fools. Now seems like the perfect opportunity to get me two laser turrets. We might have enough resources for one of them. And I would like that. That means we're going to be able to murder people more effectively. I will have to reload probably just to get the window open. And I do want to see what they have to say. Like, if we can trade or buy a crew member, that would be really helpful. Because they're not currently hostile. They've got four engines, only two are powered. I think those are rocket pods, I'm not sure. They've got good weapons. So we'll be right back and then we'll take the fight to this enemy. So, there's good news and there's some bad news. The good news is we can sell them water and gold. We could buy silicon, which I might do, I'm not sure. The bad news is, I just remembered what these guns are. They are... What's the... What's the thing there? Plasma turrets, there we go. They, they do three damage. Which is bad. They will slowly build up heat because they've got like four heat things, four heat vents. But they do six heat over like six seconds. So actually, no, they don't. They're fine. So we're not going to attack them, sadly. And again, I really wish this window would just stick around at some point. But at least you're neutral. So I'm not going to try threatening them like I was thinking I would. Uh, what do we need? We need... To power all the turrets, we need more stuff. Yeah, we need like one CPU panel for every two of these. So we need one extra CPU panel and possibly some extra power. Not too bad. Yeah, we need more power. So we're going to put ourselves a CPU panel right there. We'll remove that CPU panel at some point. And we'll place one over there as well. Come on, engineers, get to it. Oh. We have no resources to do that. We can still get rid of these, though. You know. We've got 850 cargo space right now, and we don't need it. Oh, they're leaving, are they? I should have bought the silicon. Oh, well. I would like to get a medium solar panel up in here. Those are going to be a little harder to break. Not breaking is good. There you go. Uh, we don't have the silicon to build that right now, though. Oh, well. We still have most of our things we can power. The mining lasers. Uh, yeah, we're gonna leave everything as is. I'm gonna power down the food dispenser for now. Power down the navigation console, because we're not using it. And then we'll have our three mining lasers running at least. Yay. So, just to make sure, 
you know, keep a lookout ahead, make sure we don't run into any giant rocks. You can't access food, really. You're gonna complain about that now. Fine, I'll turn it back on, I suppose. And there's the rocks we're looking for. Good stuff. How's the engineering research going? Not very well, but we are mainly prioritizing the food, I think. We're up to six food now, so it's going better. I mean, I'd like to see us produce a bit more food, but... We're not losing any. That's a plus. We'll probably afford to buy some. Oh look, do you want water? Actually, no I don't. Screw that. I've got enough. Like, I'd rather mine other rocks at this point than try to get some more water. I mean, I'll take it if it's like a tiny one-sized rock, but... Eh. We're gonna get enough water anyway. Like... Whatever we do, we're gonna get more water somehow. See? Water is incredibly common, which is good, to be honest. It allows us to survive. Oh, that's a nice big chunk of silicon there. Love it. That's a hot star, so we need to be careful. Actually, do we need to be careful? We've got the heat disp dispersion for it. We're fine. Okay, we're not fine. I lied. I just need to watch out for that rock up ahead, though. I need to try and melt that. But, ah, that's gonna kill the heat. Oh, man, we're in trouble. Yeah, we're gonna have to hope that a plus three evasion will take care of that, which I think it will, to be honest. If not, we could lose a heat vent, which would kind of suck. Of course we do. Of course we do. You know, plus three evasion doesn't matter. It does not make... The, it does not seem to make a bloody difference. When cosmic gods want you to get smacked by a rock, you will get smacked by a rock, damn it. Oh, that missed at least. That's good. Watch that one take someone out. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. We need more crew. We really do. Please don't smash us. It's smashing us. It's smashing us. It's definitely hitting us. No, we're, we got lucky. It missed. Thank God. Oh my lord, look at that metal. Yeah, we're having some cooling issues right now because of all the... the stuff being destroyed just a little bit ago. Uh, we need to rebuild one. Kind of running out of hull space as well. Like, not great. Super Sarge, if you're not too busy eating, you know... You're literally sitting in a room that's on fire currently going, this is fine, this is fine. You've turned into a meme. Got ourselves more hull space though, I'll probably expand the hull down a little bit. And we'll move the engines. And then we'll maybe add a third so we can keep our ridiculously high dodge bonus, which, you know, did save us from a couple of asteroids, just not all the ones. I would like to be safe from all the ones, I'll be completely honest. Oh, Super Sarge is now a level 4 researcher, look at that. Yeah, he's researching that engineering super quickly now. I approve. But we really need more crew members, you know. I'd love to hire some, but I've never gotten the bloody opportunity to. It's a bit annoying like that, really. Are we gonna build the hull? Come on, guys, we can build the hull, right? Yeah, there we go. BVS is gonna build the heat sink, which is good. That means we can do things again. Ship detected on the long range scanners. If he wants a fight, I'll give him a fight. There we go. Ship's now on an intercept course. Do please let it be a fight. Ship's exiting the warp, and it's the big ones that are not currently hostile. All right. Please have a crew member to trade. Well, they've got a crew member to trade. 
They want to buy ours, so no, screw you. I'll sell you some water, but that's it. That's a really useless trade. Like, really, come on. I'm not going to sell you any of my resources right now. I can't afford to. But I will go ahead and we'll start building engines down here. And then we'll remove these two. You know, the ship's starting to look very long and very weird right now, but I promise it will start looking better eventually. We are still working on it right now. We've got Super Sarge doing the researching. I'd really like more crew, but again, I can't fight anyone with like three damage weapons when only when we've only got one damage weapons. It's kind of annoying like that, to be honest. James, what are you going to do? You're going to go to bed. As in, you're going to sleep on a random floor tile. That's fine. You know, that happens. Good day to you, sirs. Just get out of here. I'm not going to sell you my crew, because I need them. There we go. Now that we've repaired the engines, we're going to go get rid of them. James, I need you to help me here. Oh no, you're, you're still heading to bed. Okay. I'll take manual priority then. Screw you. I need this to happen, James. You're the best dude we have. Don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. Alright, they're leaving. That's fine. We're going to renovate the ship a little bit. Like, come on, James. We've got a lot of things right now. It's fine. I just need you to do some things for me, that's all. We'll give this ship the best dodge bonus it has ever seen. And ever will see. There we go. Uh, fire fan, could you put out the fire? Please, thank you. James did the thing, that's good. Uh, we don't have enough materials for that, that's fine. We've got one more engine to destroy. I say destroy. Destroying is a bit much, but... Break it down for parts. There we go. And then we'll add in some floors there eventually. BVS is doing some helpful repairs there. I like it. We might have to put an airlock down here at some point. And by at some point, I mean probably right now. Like right there. Just look at the construction speed our guys have. It's great. You guys are doing good work. So yeah, that's three engines at the back. That's going to give us a total of plus four dodge right now. We did expand the ship a little bit again, but you know, still, we have a net profit. That's good. I'd like a medium solar panel over there. Power up the mining lasers. Power up the other plant bed. Although I'm thinking to just get rid of it, because it's not doing a lot. I'm gonna release control, James, you can do just whatever you please now. It's fine, you know. You did your part, and that's all that matters. Oh crap, more asteroids. Ooh, silicon. Very nice. Get some ice. I guess it's fine. You know, I'm not going to turn down free water. But we've got so much of it. And I find it hard to really care at the moment. What I'll probably do in between here and next episode is we'll, like, finish building the ship a little bit. And then I'll probably gather some resources just off camera. Just I'll try to get the new crew member as well, because right now... Every ship we encounter just doesn't have what we need. And when they did, it's like, yeah, we don't have any money. Game's ridiculous like that. But at least we're in a good position here right now. So, thank you all for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Really helps me and the channel a lot, and I do really appreciate it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one, folks.